In example 4.4, we are given a wire that is surrounded by a rubber insulation, therefore a uh, dielectric, and we are asked to find the electric displacement. So electric displacement is our D. And how do we find D? Well, the D is going to be uh, solved by finding the integral of D over an area, and it's going to be equal to the uh, charge enclosed, free charge enclosed. So, first of all, what is the free charge enclosed in our case? Well, the free charge enclosed is going to be equal to lambda times L. L is the length of our uh, Gaussian surface Gaussian surface that we draw on the inside. And our area, of course, is going to be, an, uh, for the left side is going to be uh, solved as absolute value of D times uh, 2 pi S times L. So it's equals to lambda L. And as you can see, we didn't read of the Ls because it is independent of the length of the wire. So we know that D is equals to 2, sorry, 2 lambda over 2 pi S. And of course, if we want to find it as a vector, we can say that D vector is equals to lambda over 2 pi S in the S hat direction. Now, we know that E, sorry, that D actually is equals to epsilon uh, times E. So E is equals to D divided by epsilon. And we plug it back in our equation over here for D. We know that is equals to uh, epsilon times E, which is equals to this value right here. And we were talking about a vector. So it's going to be like this. Okay. And so we divide both sides by uh, the epsilon. So electric field vector is going to be equals to lambda over uh, 2 pi epsilon times uh, 1 over s in the s hat direction. Now, inside the rubber insulation, we know that epsilon uh, is going to be just a value. Well, when we're outside the uh, dielectric, it's going to be electric field is going to be equals to lambda over. 2 pi epsilon naught times 1 over uh, 1 over s in the s hat direction. Uh, this is because on the outside of our dielectric, the constant this 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 uh, dielectric constant goes back to being equals to epsilon naught. So we can just substitute our epsilon naught. So this is when s is is actually is less than a and this is for when s is greater than a by using s as the uh, a radius of our collision surface and a the radius of our dielectric that is around our uh, wire. 